Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Retrack with Moodle. So this plugin is actually allow you to capture video watching behavior. It also allow you to embed YouTube videos in your Moodle course. So I'm running Moodle on Mac. And uh, now we are going to install this plugin on Moodle. So in order to install this plugin, first of all, download this plugin. So this link is also given in the description. So once the downloading is complete, uh, you have to make one change. Uh, you have to rename this file and name it Vitrack. So I'm already having that file name here. So once you change the name, what you have to do next, just go to site administration. So in order to access this, you have to log in in your Moodle with admin credentials. So go to site administration, then go to plugins. And here you will find the option install plugin. Now select your file that you downloaded. So I'm selecting this file with track. Load this file and then click on install plugin from the zip file click on continue upgrade Moodle database now so this plugin is installed successfully now what we are going to do we are going to embed a YouTube video in a Moodle course and we will see what kind of records this plugin is storing. So just go to home and all courses. So if you have created any courses just go to any of them otherwise you can create your own course. So here we will embed a YouTube video. So in case uh, if you cannot see these options like edit, add an activity, just go to setting and turn editing on. So now I'm adding an activity. And if you can see here, there is with track, add. So this activity require you to specify a name. So let's say, tutorial and here you have to provide YouTube URL so let me select a YouTube video so I have copied the YouTube URL and paste it here save and display so as you can see your YouTube video is embedded in this activity. Now we want to see what kind of record this plugin records. So what we are going to do, we are going to access the PHP my admin. So in PHP my admin go to Moodle 37. So this is the database. So it will show you all the tables and in the end you will find a table MDL YouTube. So in your case if you can are not able to see it just uh, change the page because there are two pages. Now go to this table. So right now in this table there are no records and the attributed store are like ID, user, course, video, state, time occurred. So now we are going to interact with this video and we will see whether these events are recorded in this table or not. So let me play it. Stop it. Again play. Stop. Play. So let's see the table again. So if you can see uh, all the events are recorded. Buffering, unstarted, playing, pause, playing, buffering. 
So this plugin is working perfectly. Thank you very much for watching.